What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here on Fox Farms. It's a beautiful day. It's a new day, September. Um, let's take a minute and catch you guys up. So, all of our wheat that we got off of the field over here, the extra wheat we got off the field for the contract down there, I believe that was field 11, and all of our oats over there. So, all the oat or wheat is in this bin. All the oats are in not that bin. This bin. Right here. Fifty four thousand liters of oats is what we got off of that field over there. Seventeen, our field. And then one hundred and twenty four thousand and two liters of wheat is what we own. So money has gone up. We're at a hundred and eighty two thousand dollars. We're still getting shaft on the contract here on field 26 for the silage bales. We've got our first couple of pallets of maple syrup. We've got them and hauled them off. And if you, you can see it just there in the background, that is the manure factory that I installed, put on this field here. I'm a little, a little aggravated. Fair warning. But, I placed it right where I wanted it, but the landscaping for it just would not let me landscape this side. So I still got filled here and to here. That's as far as it would let, let, let me landscape. A little aggravated at that, but it is what it is. We're going to have to live with it. I also got the maple syrup cell point just here so this entire area will eventually be production and cell points and stuff like that maybe throw a couple of decorative houses in there a couple of roads make it look nice but that's where we're at right now um oh yeah I got all the straw picked up off of this field all the straw picked up off of 17 taking it to the manure factory filled it completely up and it filled completely up with manure and I sold it at the top of the hour and that's why where money is up it to a hundred and eighty two thousand dollars and then I had to end up selling the rest of the straw that wouldn't fit in there down at the animal animal barn animal dealer and that's where we're at right now huh and what we're going to get on to next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take on another spraying contract. I'm going to get use this, uh, what's left of this herbicide on that spraying contract. And then I might take on a couple of fertilizing contracts. And let's see what else we've got. we got cultivating, fertilizing, and a spraying. So probably just going to do this spraying and then these four fertilizing I'm probably not going to touch the cultivating contracts and I think I might just I'm going to try to hang on to this contract until either another bell contract comes up and I can take the take the bells to another sell point and then sell the extra bells to finish that contract or just hang on to it until that field regrows cut some more grass bell it and then take it down there. That's my only options other than losing on the contract. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and accept that contract, borrow equipment, thank you. And then we are also going to go ahead and grab this fertilizing contract. Let me see. Hold on. We do have a braid ale, so yep. All right. Let's grab that contract and that con. Oh, that contract. Yep. All right. Well, okay. So we can't grab that contract yet. We got to get these other two fertilizing contracts, or fertilizing contract and a spraying contract. Got to get them two done. And then we can move on to more fertilizer contracts. I need to get a mulcher. I need to get a plow. 
Um, and a roller. So, let's go ahead and order those. What we got here? Potato harvester. We don't want that. Oh, that's a beet harvester. We still don't want it. That looks nice. Uh, that's a sugar beet cutter, though. We don't want that either. Okay. Let's see. Let's find the roller first. There it is. 140,000 dollars. Ouch! Oh, what is that? That's 12.3. I could do that one for now. That's double the width, though. Mm. Alright, uh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get the plow first. How about that? Let's get the plow. I like this one. Let's go with. Okay, we have a case age. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll buy that. Alright. Mulchers. Next to it. What's the biggest mulcher we can get? That's a mod. That is 200 horsepower at 6 meters. 5.8 meters. 5.6 and 3. Wow. 6 meters is going to be the best. Let's go ahead and get that one. How much money do we have left? 138. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. Sure. We'll hold off. Let's go ahead and grab the tractor. Don't have a three point. Is that got a three point link? Yes. Um what did, what did I buy? Yeah, we can use this. Let's go grab the mulcher and the plow. Since this has a three point link on the front and back, we can carry both of them back at the same time. Pretty sure this tractor has the horsepower also to operate that plow. Let's check. What was the. I think it's 180. No, 320 horsepower. Mm. So, what does our tractor have? Uh, that one's got 169, and I'm going off the road. And that one has 375, so it'll have to be the big one. This thing is going to be massive on the front of this. I did sell the um, pallet of sunflower oil that was there. Let's go ahead and get this back to the farm. I'm not going to be using this piece of equipment to run either of these because I think both of them take more than what this thing has. I'm just using it for transport. One trip instead of two. Work smarter, not harder.
I was carrying away with old mulching over here on field 25 thinking about the production building I wanted to add in and then I also remembered hey I need a rock picker because I gotta pick these rocks up then I also remembered I don't have anywhere to deliver the rocks to so, it's like, I need some money oh wait I'm supposed to be doing this contract. So, I am going to get this field sprayed and get paid. And then I also have a fertilizing contract that I also need to get done. If I can line myself up. There we go. Close enough. Forget this pays out sixteen grand, so that'll pay for that'll buy me a roller and then the fertilizing contract that I have is forty five thousand. That'll buy me the rock picker, I believe. I think. We'll check. I mean the another uh, right picker the um uh stone crusher there we go that about the stone crusher production and then I got a couple more contracts that I can do and that'll get me my rock picker so I should be set on everything except for the production building that I want. <clears throat> I hired a worker down on field 25 to finish the mulching. While I do this and the other two contracts. Or the other three contracts. Maybe four. I don't know. I think there's five. Let's see. We got... The field 14 for fertilizing, field 24 for spraying, and then field 8, 9, and 18 for fertilizing. So, yep. Five contracts total. We'll get all of those taken care of. It should have all of our needs met for now. so hard to see where you've been. So on Tuesday the 19th uh, Precision Farming has come out for free DLC. Have you guys dove into it yet? Let me know what you think. Is it something that you want to be, that you've been waiting on and you've been dying to play with, or is it something you won't touch with a 10 foot pole? I'm scared of it myself. I don't want to even try. 
Not really. <laughs> I'm not scared of it. I've done it before. But. It is just. It's complicated. And it's something that I need to sit down and learn. Watch some videos. And then maybe eventually get into it. I might do a series later on with uh, precision farming enabled. Never know. Alright, I'm going to finish up these contracts. And then we're going to get some new equipment. I'll see you guys in a minute. <coughs> Brain contract for the hover shed is complete. And the fertilizing contract, field 14, is complete. And there was 24 on the herbicide, field 24. Got those two done. I think I need to check. Uh, yep, completed, completed, completed. 14,850. That's mine. Watch the poll. And 45,814. Collect that. Alright, I want to go down here and accept that one and that one. And then I'll get on those two here in just a minute. Mulching is still going on. I'm going to go refill this because I got 52% left. It's not going to be enough to do both. So I'm going to go ahead and refill it now. Go and do these other two fields. And then I need to fertilize my field 25 up there that's being mulched. I need to fertilize it. Put some lime down. Fertilize it again. And then plant and then roll. I also need to do all the same things down there on field 17. Oh, a lot of work to do. Well, all the contracts, whoops, I just shut the engine off, but yeah. All the contracts for fertilizing are done besides this one on field 9 for 22,000. I haven't accepted it yet, yet. But 18 and 8 are done, 35,000 and 32,000, let's take that. And we'll go ahead now and accept the contract there for Field 9. And we'll go ahead and accept one of these cultivating contracts here in just a second. But first, I want to see the owned items here. What cultivator do I have? This is a 7.5 meter cultivator. They are offering... Oh, that's a big boy. So is that. Alright, so 2,494. Yeah, we're going to borrow equipment on this. And use it on these other two fields. I'll have to do that contract first. because we still got this one plaguing us. <sighs> Let's see. So I can borrow this equipment, go do this one, then accept one of these other two, and also do this one, do this one, then go do this one, and then I can finally complete that one. <coughs> borrow equipment. Yes. There we go. Got a plan. I just need to fertilize field 25. It has been mulched. It has been plowed. It's ready for its first layer of fertilizer. Then lime and then another layer of fertilizer and then put some seed in the ground. Whew. Let's get to it. Ooh, guess what happened? Worker D is blocked by an object. Worker D is blocked by an object. Hmm. I'm, 
I'm assuming it it's blocked by an object over there. Anyway, um, I'll just let that run. We had another bail contract come up, and this is for field six. Yep, just right there. And this one is to bail and bring it over here at the animal dealer. But we're do we're doing hay on this one instead of silage bales. So what I did was stole some of the grass, bailed it into silage bales, and I've brought it over. I've brought over um, four bales so far. And I think this one is going to be the last one right here. Let's see. Can we finish the contract finally? Yes, we did. We finally finished the contract. Finished the contract for field 26. Hot dog. Alright, so yeah, we got a battle of the mowers going on over there. And what we're going to do is, since we don't need this anymore, we're just going to unhook right there. i got to go get some more equipment. It's at the shop, actually. So I need to go back this way. Alright. I'm going to go pick up some more equipment. Start tedding the grass. And then I'm going to windrow it. And then start bailing it. And hopefully we don't run in the same issue on the hay as we did the, the silage. Alright. See you guys in a minute for an update. All the bells left on this field now, including the ones on the trailer, are now mine. Contract is complete. So, I looked at the best price. Best price is $202 per thousand at the Anima Dealer, where we've been taking them. So, I'm just going to take and get rid of them. I could keep them. But I don't think I'm going to. I think the best thing to do is just cart them on on over here to the animal dealer and drop them off and get paid for it. We're up to 329000 You've seen all the screenshots of the uh, contracts going on. Been quite a few contracts. Been real busy. Rock picking has been completed over on field 25. We are rock picking right now on field 17 and AI worker J is blocked by an object this has got to be one of the harder cell points to get into on this map without getting into that field is my money. Thank you, thank you. That is $20,000 worth. We got another full load coming and a single bell. So, 20824 Again, it would be somewhere around 371000 372000 I'm going to say. We've got 
a contract going on right now for field 19 and that is a cultivating job that is the biggest field on the map for Che has a full tank so he's done build up rock picking on field 17 I'll have to jump over and take care of those two things I think the contract is actually complete um, for field 19 for the cultivating job go over and stop these two guys I borrowed equipment on this contract and that contract this one pays out 45,000 minus the equipment lease and then the cultivating job pays out 65,000 minus the $6,000 equipment lease so these two contracts were just right at a hundred thousand dollars for these two contracts which is pretty good really nice we have the money now to buy our um, roller we're going to get that and then I think the next thing we're going to look at is getting the farm another tractor I think we're going to end up one bale extra of this that won't fit on this load. One bell. Too bad I can't pick that up. I just like toss it up on the hood of the tractor or something. camera collision mod come on giants hook us up $1,868. We're up to $371 and we got one more bail. We'll take care of that. And then we can button up the cultivating contract over here. Go and take care of finishing up the rock picking. We can call it a day, I think. Now we gotta get our uh, we gotta get our roller. Take it back to the shop. Field twenty five is ready for seed. I think I'm gonna go with uh, what shall we go with? What shall we do? There we 
go. So three hundred seventy-two thousand. And a cut on the cattle grate. My bad. Or cattle fence. Pin. Park this. Trailer right there. And I'm gonna go check on this cultivating. Just use this tractor. Oh yeah, they're done. Well, I said that. Look at this guy. He's still out here driving around in circles. What are you doing, dude? I mean, what are you cultivating? What in the heck? Oh my. That's hilarious. Alright, well, let's take this back to the farm and let's go to contracts. We have filled six for forty-two thousand. Lease cost was only twenty-four. All right, so not bad. So we'll collect that and field nineteen. Going to get fifty-three thousand. <clears throat> I thought it was sixty-five, but it's only sixty. So yeah, that's still good. We'll collect that. No contracts left. All right. Still running on manure. Change that back to storing. And start that back up. Everything else is looking good. This needs a wash. It needs some TLC. And I need to go and check on the stone picker. Another pallet of maple syrup sitting there. This is all the stones off of field twenty five. I don't have anything to do with them just yet, so. I just put them there. Get this thing washed up and parked. And then we'll go check on that stone picker. And I'm going to take this tractor over there. Because I've got that little tractor over there. And it's doing the stone picking. And the trailer is sitting over there. So I'm going to put the, this tractor here on the uh, stone picker, put the little tractor on on the uh, trailer. And I think I want to buy another braid L. Have one for uh, lime and have one for fertilizer.
All right, I'm gonna see you guys here in just a second. Over at field 17, see what we got done, and see what we look like so far. And the little tractor now, I got the uh, capacity of this trailer set down to 4,000. I've got this much done on this side. About the same amount done on the other side. I've already got the big tractor, the magnum on the uh, stone picker. So what we're going to do is just going to pull up right here behind the stone picker just like so jump out jump in here and I think I can actually raise that up to 8,000 on the trailer there we go I'm going to try it out. I'm going to take these back to the yard, put them with the other pile of rocks, and I'm going to adjust this to 8,000 liters and then come back. See what how that does. Instead of two full tanks on the stone picker, it'll make four. That'd be a little easier. Less carting back and forth. But I don't know how much this, tra this tractor can. I don't know how well it can handle that. Seems like it isn't struggling too bad with 4,000 liters, so. We'll see. If it's no problem with 8,000 liter sideboards. Excellent. Alright, so uh, you know, I've been thinking about a third tractor for the farm. And I kind of realized this little tractor here we got a little case maxim 135. This one is just not big enough for what we need. I mean, it's got a front loader, yeah. But I've been looking through the tractors for one to look at options for a third tractor but then I got to thinking third tractor would be nice but what about upgrading this tractor so I was looking through the medium tractors here and I was looking at which one was it I believe it was the and I was looking at the McCormick and the JCB. And I think I can get a front loader for this. Wide tires. Or I can go... Oops. Okay. Okay, come on. Yep, we'll go wide tires and a trailer, or trailer, wide tires and the front loader for a 235 horse tractor, 220,000, or the McCormick, this is the one I was looking at, the knocking and standard two, front loader with the bigger engine, change that to that and that to that. It's a nice looking tractor. For 197000 for 240 This one is about $23,000 cheaper than the JCB. Has five more horses. Uh, doesn't drive as fast. But we have a three point on the front, a front loader, a 
I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's cheaper it's got more horsepower but it is slower but it'll be able to handle everything we need it to handle so I think I'm gonna get this one for a hundred and ninety seven thousand yes and we'll just disconnect here we need to drive to the shop pick up the front loader for this because the front loader that we have is this one and it is rated uh, for 180 horsepower which is the bigger one okay never mind so we don't need to, we don't need to pick it up we just gotta go to the shop sell this thing and pick up our new tractor Wow, this guy here is continuing on with the rock picking. He doesn't have much left. I just dumped him, so <clears throat> he should be fine for a few minutes. This thing has been struggling pulling some of the equipment just to shunt it around, you know, move it around to different places. It's been it's been on the struggle bus didn't like doing a couple of them the big roller that we bought I used it to pull it from the store back to the farm and it did not like it just moving it you know wasn't even using it so we did end up buying the roller and another braid ale we did go for the biggest braid ale all the extensions we got the spreader bar on the back it's a uh, tandem axle so we got that back at the farm we went ahead and filled it up with lime stuck it in the shed right beside the other braid ale with the fertilizer in it I didn't even check and see if it had fertilizer in it but I'm assuming it does I think the last thing I did was fertilize. Fingers crossed. I hope. Alright. See you in just a second. Well, I'm at the shop. And I've got a problem. There's no way to sell it. It says back, customize, or, or repair. It doesn't need repair, but it won't let me sell it. And if I go in through here, I'm going to get 76000 Here it says it's worth 83900 Uh, hmm. That sucks. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to sell it through here. That hurt my feelings. I love the tires on this thing. That red screen is just pretty slick. I like that. same speed as the other little tractor we just sold so we're not losing anything that way let's get on back and uh, 
cry in our checkbook while we wait on the rock picker to fill up again. Alright, well, here we are. Back down here. And I've got rock picker on the back of the case. It's got a little bit of rocks in it. Got a little bit of rocks, or full 8,000 liters of rocks here on the back of the McCormick. And we put in our rock crusher. That's going to produce us lime. Got a little drive out. It's a little industrial area here. We'll go ahead and dump that in. Take us back to the farm. We get all the other, all the rest of the rocks loaded up, put in here, hold down to the rock crusher. Probably call it a day. I think we've run out of contracts. And that's where I'm going to leave off. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and come and find me on Facebook and Discord. And I hope you guys have a great day. Later, guys.